Oh, I ain't got <laughs> Not a problem. That's a question. That's why he's going to call me. Good luck, Diane. We're live. Hi, everyone. Late. We are late. The All good things that we're waiting for. There you go. Happy 110th podcast. Thank you for joining us. I'm Dinah. You can find me at The Knitting Place on Instagram, Ravelry, and Facebook. I am Pam Sap on Instagram and Ravelry, and Pam Sapiens on Facebook. I'm using the screen as a mirror today. Boy, is it hot and steamy <laughs> out today. Just a bit. Major thunderstorms. Just a bit. It'll be a miracle if we don't lose our reception. Hopefully, everyone can hear us loud and clear. Yes, exactly. We're definitely on a lot later than usual. Correct. Correct. We are. Mm -hmm. But that's okay. We had a lot to do. Time flies when you're having fun. I just got a notification that we're live. So they're letting no. our viewers know. <laughs> Did you really? <laughs> yes. Didn't get one. Um, so. Good evening, everyone. Good evening is right. How's everyone doing? I feel like we're very mellow. We are very. It's the, I was going to say it's the dog days of summer, but it really is not. That's August. But we're approaching that. So. Sooner than later, right? It'll be here. Let's not focus on it, though. There but we go. just had terrible weather today. Everybody's had hot weather, so we've had hot weather. But it's been it, a the, heat wave. It was storming the from about well, like one o'clock on today, right? But you wouldn't know it. The sun shining and the grounds are actually dry. The streets right. dry. Well, it's like yeah. downpouring today. And they're saying that uh, flood warnings too. So who the heck knows? But you lost your power. You said right then. Oh my goodness! Last night. Yeah. I it what, was why did you it was from what transformer happened blue huge boom we have think. this like group chat in yeah. the estates like in our neighborhood yeah and of course I was already sleeping no but I woke up because the alarm went off when you lose yes power, yeah, like, the alarm goes crazy it was nuts and in a fog Alice is trying to turn it off I was half dead <laughs> Sophie poor Sophie comes in <laughs> It's crazy. So it's like, Mom, the alarm is going off, right? We had no AC. It was so hot. That is so oh, funny. Frustrating. Anyway. And then, of course, we got it back on and part because of the house doesn't It work. wasn't storming last night. It didn't no, rain it was last night, did it? really random. No, it a right. transformer just yeah. blew and just I don't a random know why. thing. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't weather related. It no. just happened to be hot when it just all the AC went out. happened to be bad <laughs> luck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I know. Was so yesterday scared. was very hot yesterday, though. I mean, I found, I think it was Saturday, too, but I found, it didn't bother me on Saturday. Yesterday, I was extremely hot. I found it to be dry yesterday. Because I went out. It didn't bother me. The, the heat, heat didn't bother you no. yesterday? No. Oh, my I God. I love a hot, dry heat. No. It wasn't humid, so it was just I was too hot. It just felt it. like you were walking. We went and oh, walked down it. to get an ice. It felt like the ground was a radiator. And heat was just coming up off the ground. It was so hot. City? I was up in the country, yeah. so I think it was different. Ugh, I was dying yesterday. I went home. I said, I'm so, I was so worn out from the heat. Shame. But anyway, Nothing can't like complain. cold shower I can't fix. Yeah, well. Did you shower? No. Not that, but it was too early in the day for me to shower. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us. You guys got the memo. We're live. Yeah. How no are warning. you No warning. We just went live. Yes. So what are you wearing, Pam? I am wearing a finished NFO from Beth McDonald Stone called the Chevron T. Chevron T? Chevron Tank. Tank. Chevron Tank. Excuse How me. exciting. And um, a fast knit. I knit it up in about a week from Sunday to Sunday. And uh, it's made out of Ticklina. You know you've got the same one. Yes. Where's yours? I have it. We'll talk about it. It's what you're wearing. Um, it's uh, that's really about it. It's it's a new pattern release coming out. I think this week, either Wednesday or Thursday, right, Dana? Wednesday or Thursday? Is that what she said? Yes. And she was gracious enough to let us knit it to test it, which we did, and we used the infamous Tick Lena, which is the it's thicker fabulous on you. The thicker Lena. Of course, you can see it's a tank, and it has. Notice the chevron. It goes down. It's so like pretty. Very flattering. And it's, it's got, got a wide side, side ribbing. <clears throat> wide and, rib border. And of course, you'd have to wear something under it. Of course. <laughs> Meryl, it's called the chevron tank. But this, Hello. Is that what Meryl's saying that? She's asking what yeah. is it called. So um, it's a cute piece. It's a fun piece. I made the, uh, I think it was the second size, which was a 40. She says there's not much positive. You could do whatever you want, of course. Do whatever you want. Right. 
You could wear it any ease. which way you like. Correct? Yeah, my bust mesh is 40. I made the 40. And, um, you know, the ribbing is not meant to be tight. Um, it's a lovely piece, right? I love it. I especially love, Pam, will you just do a side shot with the armhole? I mean, guys, you don't have to wear. I mean, Pam, we're wearing, like, Pam is wearing a tank top underneath because clearly it is. <laughs> it's see-through. See-through with all the eyelets. Right. And you can have it outfitted any way you like. But the, the fact that it's a high armhole yep. is brilliant. Yeah. You don't have your bra strap showing. Right. You just wear light cami. Um, Beth is going to have beautiful picture style. She had it done with a photographer. Correct. I think she's got it like layered a couple yes, of different ways. Yes, a couple of different ways. And she, as she says in the pattern, you could, the depth of the armhole, like if you wanted it to come down lower, you could, you can you could do it that strap, way if right. you wanted to. And it also has, we should say, two necklines. It has a scoop and a crew. We both did the crew, right, Dana? Yes. We both did the crew. Looks great on you. Fits you Thank beautifully. You. Yep. Perfect. Uh, how many skeins did you Seven. use? Seven. Seven skeins. Mm -hmm. I hit a colorway. Olive. Olive. <laughs> I don't know the number, but it's a, a ticklina color. And it will be out later this week. Love it. Absolutely beautiful. And that's it. I did not make any, any progress on my other one, but we'll talk about that later. Did you have any amendments to the pattern? I... Um, I did. I Well, I added a, a body repeat. I think she said probably five. I wanted it to be longer, so I did six. Um, it was spot on, though. The five was what she said it would be. It wasn't because I wasn't, you know, the, the row gauge was off or anything like no, that. No, you just chose I to chose add to add length to it. And um, on the straps, I added about between the two sides, about uh, 10 rows of ribbing. Nice. You it know. fits you beautifully. And that's about it. And again, that's, you know, that's customizable because that's a, what, a three needle bind off. So yes. you could do, you know, you could just make them as long or short as you want. Right? Absolutely. And it's a, you know, it's a nice pattern. It's a, I don't want to say it's memorizable, but it's, it's. Um, rhythmic. Rhythmic. Exactly. Yeah. It looks beautiful. Yep. I also test knit it. It's, um, it was a fun knit. Yep. I'll and it was quick too. Yes, you knit it in less Quickly. than a week. Yeah, well, it was, it was Sunday to Sunday. I cast wow. on Sunday, and I, that was fabulous, Pam. Yeah. So it went quickly. But I mean, I was I wanted She's to get it done be... this weekend, so I worked. I mean, instead of just working on other things, I worked on this until it was done. Very nice, and that was it. Kudos and then to yesterday, you. I really didn't. Honestly, I didn't do anything yesterday. Really, well, you were with Audrey. No, no. Well, yeah, but I, I didn't. Uh, I didn't do much knitting yesterday. I don't know why, but I didn't. Whatever. It's all good. Mm -hmm. So I finished my Salty Air Tea. It's designed by Samantha Guerin. This was our knit along last month, and I finally finished. I think I added length. I can stand up. How long is it, Dana? Do you know? Uh, I didn't measure it. Okay. It's probably like my Miserina length. Mm -hmm. Did you only use oh, two skeins? What did I, I used two skeins. You didn't go into the third. This is what I have left. There you go. Now, I posed a question on Ravelry, how many grams or how much yarn it would take to knit 10 rounds. I ended up knitting 12 because clearly I had enough. And someone left a brilliant comment saying it's much better to weigh it in ounces. And they were absolutely right. Ounce, ounces? No, in grams. grams I had yeah. done it in ounces, ounces yeah, but grams are a lot more specific. Right. And I'm actually going to weigh weigh it right now how do you clear it and i'll let you know how much is left over i did add length i think who was it noreen was in and she said she go. went about 14 inches to the arm i don't know what noreen said she did i'm not sure i, I have that. 12 grams left so clearly i had enough yep. i did 12 rounds i did helical knitting at the bottom so i guess maybe i don't need my third skein probably not mm. well you could try mine on well, we'll see you're going to do your own length anyway, whatever I'll works for you. measure it to whenever. Uh, I think I added, I didn't add, I said I added rounds in the sleeves. I think I just followed her instructions exactly. It's lovely. I love the fit. See, this is what we were talking about before. If you look at it on the screen, it almost looks gray. But when I look at it in person, it looks more blue. So it's it a blue-gray, which is lovely. Yeah. And Very nice. 
Very nice. That's a so, color you don't wear often, Diana. No, I don't wear it at all. You don't. It's nice, though. I, I like think it's. It. Oh, no, it's not the first blue piece because I did knit um, like a cloud in navy, which is also unusual for me. Right, 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 right. That but, was nice, though. This but is a, this is different, though. This, this is like <laughs> a top, not a cardigan, though. It's dinner time. It's yeah. dinner time. It's past dinner time. <laughs> we're late. Oh, yeah. my stomach isn't happy. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to try to be, well, not too quick. Hello, everybody. Thank you for the lovely compliments. Does the back have eyelets? I, is Marilyn talking about uh, what I'm wearing? I think you should turn around. My yoke goes all the way around. Yeah, this goes all the way around, too. Yes. Right? It does. There you go. How gorgeous is that, you guys? So the neckline is actually higher in the back, mm -hmm. even though Pam did the crew neck. Um, the it's back is the same for both pieces, right? Yeah. Yes. Yep. The back, yes. You have two options for necklines, but the back is the same. Yep. Thank you, everybody. You guys are the best. Yep. So it is this front and back detail. And this worked in the round up until the split. So. Yes, it's bottom up. Yep. Which was nice for a change. Yeah. Thank you, Marion. Marion's very sweet. She said she bought her kit for the Soldatna. Mm. Um, well, her husband actually did, and he said that he's still saying how nice you ladies are. Oh, Thank so you. <laughs> you guys are the best. <laughs> so sweet. Thank you. So what else do we have? Um, I have my, my Chevron tank. There you go. I did it in the shocking pink. There you go. Not wearing it, but it's done. <laughs> pink and green. Pink and like green. Like a flower. We could have been floral. Yep. So I'll wear it later on in the week. Yep. But this was a fun knit. Beth, if you're out there watching us, thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to test. We wish you lots of luck. Again, I also use. And you have a great time. It's a, you know, you can, you can get this pattern. Like I did it in a week. You did I it. I did, right. It took me two weeks. No, nah, no, but. Really. Right. You just had the rib. You you weren't really doing it. You know, it didn't take you that long. It's a quick knit. It's Let's quick just knit. put it that way. Yeah. Definitely. Especially if you you're you're, you know, true to one knit and you don't do anything else, it goes quickly. It's amazing. It yeah. flies off the needle. Yeah. And it's fun. So, what do you have as whip? I still have my lovely. I although I have done some work Not on lovely. it. Lovely. Not my lovely. My salty. Excuse me. My lovely. It took. <laughs> Still talking about my lovely, isn't that funny? Uh, my salty air. Uh, you know, I've probably done over 10 rows this week in it, but I still have. I, I think I was calculating, and I probably still have half the lace to do because you have to go up to 32, right? And then you have to repeat it, right? You have a, a bit to repeat, but not the full pattern. No, not the, but I think you have bit. to do it twice, don't you? You have to well, do those eight of rows. rows twice. I think it was just right, yeah, and I think I'm rows. on 24 from 32. So That's I've got to go from 24 to 32. Then I have to do those eight rows. Yeah, another 24 rows. Then it looks gorgeous. So there you go. It's very pretty. That's a great. Color. I haven't steamed it or anything, but. That's fun. It'll be fun to do. So my goal is, I hate to say it because then I feel like I have to do it. <laughs> I don't, I don't have an out. To... My goal is to have the color, the the yoke done this week. Because once the yoke is done, I have a nice mindless project that totally. I can knit, knit wherever I go. Right totally. now, you can't knit this wherever you go. No. You know, and that's part of the problem. Right. So if I figure, you know, if I have 32 to 24 is what, like, um, it's like eight rows. So I have 24 rows. I say it's half of it. I have 24 rows to do. So if I did, I'd have to do so many a day. Right. The only problem is, is they get increased now. Are you done with the increasing? Yeah. The charts. Well, no, I think I just did. I didn't increase. How many did you go to between the repeats? Do you remember? I don't recall. I have nine before the, you know how there's like, there was like eight and then there's the, there's like the seven center stitches. And then there's the eight, you know what I'm talking about? The repeat. There's the beginning and end of a repeat. And then those few stitches in the center, the pearls. Do you remember? No. Oh, yeah. Well, anyway, I did do that increase. I'm, I'm, I can look on my phone. I'll look on my phone while we're talking and I'll tell you. But I might be uh, on the last one because when do you finish increasing? It wasn't at the end of the chart. It was before the Correct, end. Correct, right. So I think there's I a just, certain portion I think I just where, did the list. Again, I don't remember. I it think I be. just did the list increase. So then you're just even, Stephen. Yeah, but so I have to do, if I, I want to have by Saturday all the rows done, that's 24 rows done by Saturday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, five days, 
It's at least six rows a day. What do you think about that? An hour of knitting a day. I think it's more than an hour. And you think six rows is an hour? I did Three. today. I did 24, 10 23, minutes for 22, around. 21, 20. I did yes. five today in probably Ten, in like an hour, maybe. 10 minutes to do around? Yeah. I think so. Six. Yeah, that's true. But it I depends so. when you get home if you're but, tired. You well, know, the whole legs. thing is we were so. talking about this when you time your knitting. You're like really good for that first round that you're timing to go around, but you're not sitting there that de like that vigilant. Oh, I will. I will put. One I will put my. Uh, I'll time it. I'll put my so phone. Funny. I'll put my stopwatch on and I'll start it, and I stop it when the move is over. Okay, but six times in a row. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, I'm I'm too ADD. <laughs> Clearly, <laughs> I knit between this between. No, two no, no, I no, can't. No. I, I can't I can stay do. that focused. Oh, I can. Yeah. Oh no, I do that. That's I mean, so I wouldn't funny. do it for four hours straight, but I, you know, Clearly. you do run out of steam after a while. Will you take a break? That's it. Like after one round, I'm like steaming, no. <laughs> and then I'm like, okay, I pitter, pitter patter out. Yeah, no, <laughs> like, no. I, I, that's what keeps me, it keeps me true to doing it. But the only problem is, like in the evening, although I can do it in the morning now, I can do it in the morning. So I can do it in the morning. That could be, I could get it done. There you go. Wouldn't that be nice? Yes, it would be. Because then I would just have to do the body. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. So what do you have there missing? So my whip is my um, lovely test knit. Oh, how pretty. For Natasha Hornby, Moonstruck Knits. It's mm. the Lyra sweater. Very pretty. And believe it or not, I had to rip the whole thing. I frogged it. Not since I spoke to you. I knew you frogged it. The first time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What I showed you last week, I had to rip. Has disappeared. Yes. <laughs> I was knitting a medium and I decided to cast on for, for the, the large. large. Oh, was that why you did it? Yes. I decided that That's my so gauge would have aggressively blocked out to yeah. the proper gauge. And I didn't necessarily want, I like the fabric the way yes, it is. Yes, yes, yes. I agree And with I didn't that. want to fight it. Mm -hmm. So I figured, you know what? I'm close enough to That's the beginning. Right. Let me rip back and I, I restarted. I agree with that. So I find that lately, slowly but surely, so much um, decision making about what size to do. Don't you find that lately? <laughs> yes. <laughs> do I do this or do I do that? Is it the right size? Is it the wrong I mean, size? I think it's important to know in advance where you want. You know, like the last thing I want is to have a sweater that's done and it doesn't right. fit. So I'm glad that I caught it in advance. It's always smart to check your knitting as you go, check your gauge, make sure you're on point. Yeah. Um, I'm loving the way it's knitting up. I A lot of you idea. have asked what I'm using. This is Art Yarns. It's Art Yarns. We should show a skein. It's, it. Do you mind? No. It's the LYS colorway. Well, she to explain to them that she has a colorway a month. It's actually every two months. She oh, does an inspirational months. color. We could probably... Do we still do we have the new one? I don't think we ever showed that one. Is it on the website? It's not on the website. On the website. No. Well, we That's sold a lot of the kits in store, well, but we'll show them to you. Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us. You see, New Zealand and Ontario, Canada. Hello well, from Long they'll, Island. They'll recognize this when they see this one. Right. This is the first one that we carried, which is Carmel by the Sea. Now, can you imagine doing this in this? <laughs> wow. Wowza. That is a wowza. They would notice you from like a mile away. There was this one. This, I believe, is the wave, which is beautiful. This was the color Dinah's. This is the color Dinah's doing, which is the local yarn shop a colorway she did for that, right? Correct. So as you could see, it's an ombre. And I paired it with navy. I will have kits available for pre-order. I will probably have them kitted to the size large since that's what I'm knitting. And if you want to secure your yarn, you are the welcome to. And this get is it. golden hour. This is the one is that the Dinah was saying is not. But Dinah color. will be putting it on probably yes. tomorrow. So if you want it, you can just message us or call the shop. How fabulous is this ombre? I'm not sure if it's blowing out, but it's and got it like is it peach, is red, mm -hmm. purple, yellow. Again, it it's the merino cloud, which is 80 wool merino, 20 cashmere. It's 437 yards. This is what we were using for the Stephen West shawl that uh, what's called honeycomb something. Yes, 
whatever it is, one of his latest ones. It was one skein, of his, I think, and two skeins of his the solid, wasn't it? Two skeins of the solid. I think solid? it was two of this and one black. Two of that and one black. I is think that so. right? Whatever. We'll have to check. Anyway, so and you, so you could fun. still do that with these as well, and it's as soft as can be. So if you could feel Dinah's sweater that she's knitting, it's, oh, it's such luscious. a great, great fabric. And the little bit of cashmere in there goes such a long way because mm -hmm. it feels like it's divine. It yeah. really is. So I'm super happy. That's what I'm working on. And I'm going to try and knit on this monogamously. Are you really? Maybe for a week. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? By next week, everything could change. But, you know, it's a work in, a work in progress. There right? you go. Anyway, so that's that. What's next, Dinah? New kids on the block. What do we have? You want to talk about this? Yes, we have Soldatna Crop. Last week we shared our new colors from Madeline Tosh. Madeline Tosh. TK. We spoke about the Soldatna Crop possible knit along. Correct. We posted that today. So your sign ups are available. You could simply search Soldatna Crop. Cal. So, so, Soldatna, if you just do Soldatna, you'll get the cal. If you do Soldatna crop, you'll get the kits for the crop. Right. Actually, both. that's how I, well, when I did Soldatna the first time, I just got the thing. But that, whatever, just put Soldatna in your phone. You'll get both options. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking to purchase a kit, the kits are available online. If you're uh, interested in joining our knit along, you do not need to purchase a kit. They're no. available online. Uh, the starts. We're starting August 9th? Yes. August 9th, August 23rd, and September 13th. Three sessions. You'll have a done sweater. Oh. Hopefully. It's um, a color work. If you've never done color work, we welcome you to join. We're going to cover basics on color work. It's going to have short rows, sleeve separation, a couple color, of tips and tricks. stranding. So we're super excited. Uh FYI, when I hit cells, what does that mean? Um, Janet, explain what you mean. Oh, Janet, she had an order when today. When I hit select, it doesn't go into the cart. Oh, mm. on which one? The, on the knit along? Is that what you're talking about? Janet, oh, yeah, I think so. Because letting Janet you know. what the what the on for the soldat. I will check that out. Yep. So maybe while Pam is. I'm going to talk about my colors. How's there about that? Go. Let me talk about my colors. We did a live this week um, when we were talking about what colors we should do. We had made, and I was, of course, debating, as I always do, about what color I should make. And I showed a couple of options, and the option I settled on is, I'll show it to you now, is this. Oh, let me reach and get this. So these are my two main colors. It is, Should I hold the picture up so they know what goes Yes, yeah, Sinfully Decadent is what would be the dark, dark collar in the bottom on what Diana's holding up. This, which is, I can't even say the name of it, Rocco Tain or something. Rocinante? Something, Rocinante. I don't know. That would be where you see the green body the light and the light green in the yolk. That would be this. And my, my other... The one show the arrow on the top. Yeah. The feather that goes along through here is going to be in paper and glaze and pecan. Glaze pecan. Right. And I believe there are also the dots in, in the, the body, body. Correct. that will drop on. Her so these are the cup. colors that I have selected. So they need to be wound, right, Dinah? Yes. And um, needs you, to be begun. Absolutely. If you purchased a kit, we highly recommend that you swatch. And you could probably cast on and do your ribbing if you'd like to join us for the knit along and have that ready for short rows. There you go. I mean, listen, you could do as much as you want. If you, oh, yeah. You know, if you want to move forward, move forward. That's fine, too. Um, but, of course, all the Zooms will be recorded and there'll be a private Facebook group. And hopefully, you know, the more people that do it, the more interaction there is, which is always fun. Um, we find that you guys help each other out. <laughs> which is Absolutely. always interesting. And um, uh, what was I going to say? And you'll have it, you know, if you stay on track. I mean, it's not hard. It's not a long sweater. It doesn't have long sleeves. So it should go fairly quickly. Hopefully. Yeah. And it's a DK weight. Yep. Janet, I made the modification. So Please have a look. Yes, if you would 
wouldn't mind while you're on with us. Try doing it. Try doing it. It should work now. There you go. Are you able to duplicate Pam's kit? There is one on the website. There's one go up there it. now. <laughs> I think there's only one. Can we do one or two? I think it's just one. Just one. I don't Peggy think we have snag more it. Of that. We bought, I wanted to mention that we do have one that can twin with Pam. That's right, so funny. Right, right. What you could do if you wanted to probably. Refresh your screen, Janet. Is you could, if you made glazed pecan this color. And then you um, color. And then you, um, you could make this color and this, the dots on this. You could do that probably. The inverse. Yeah, you probably could do that because you'd only need one skein of this. I'm trying to think. We, I don't know if we can do another one. But if we can, we will. If, if you don't see one up there and you can't get it, call the shop. If we can make it, we will. There you go. Too funny. So anyway, that's it. So the question is, is Dinah going to do it? Because Dinah has a sold out now. So what do you think? Take bets. Is Dinah going to do it? Is she going to cast on? Or am I going to sit back and relax this time? <laughs> <laughs> it's not like you don't have anything to knit. But I've know. always wanted a sold out now, so it's a good opportunity for me to do it. You I have know? to say, it's one that I wear a lot. You do. And mm -hmm. I have mentioned that I would knit another one. It's a great top. Mm -hmm. It was an enjoyable knit. And stay tuned. I haven't settled on anything yet. Hasn't decided yet. So there you go. We did upload some new kits. If any of you would like to join, again, you're welcome to Stash Dive. We're just going to show you some that we... Right. I think there are about 14 kits up on the... Uh, yeah, there's one, a good selection now. This one we were just able to... Um, Thank you, Carolyn. We were able to... What's what this I'm one saying? sold... We restocked this Thank one. Thank you. This one sold right <laughs> away. This is a fun one. <laughs> These are your two main colors. Great Gray Owl. And is that paper? Yes. And the fun colors are... Is that button jar blue and neon peach? Yes. So that's a new kit available on the website. We've yes, also... Joyce, it is DK. Okay. How about this one next? Let's oh, this is a new one. This one's really pretty. Yeah. So we were inspired to make this kit. I think it was Marty. Yes. Uh, who was talking about the Caladan sweater. And she, we had pulled this color out and we just thought it would be fabulous for the Soldatna. So this is dried but not forgotten for the body. This would be the top and the, the main, you know, color. main color. And this, which is flash dance fabulous. and paper because that color is, is in, in there. there. So that's your feather and the dots right. that land right in here. Super cute. So that's cute. a great kit. That that's just a good one. Went up on the website. Yeah. This is another nice one, Dinah. What is this now? I don't know. Hold on, let's do this first. This and this. Yeah. This. That's too much, though. What do you have there? What color are you missing? Oh, this. Are you missing another no. color? I'm missing that color, the pink mist. This one? Yes. How come there are two of them? Yeah, the body is pink. That's correct. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. There you go. This doesn't so go this there. This the goes over here. This is the edging. Love this kit. So this is pink mist for the body. And this is the edging up on top, the border. And then for the feather, we have phantasm and paper. Isn't that gorgeous? So that'll be your feather going across. And these will be the two dots that land on the body on the pink mist. Very pretty. Super cute. And last but not least... One second. You got it. Yeah. You start handing you. I've got this. I've got this. I've got this. What's the other color? This? I'm missing a skein, Dinah. Yes, that. There it is. It's over there. Yep. That's it. The flash dance? Yeah, flash dance was over here for this, but that's okay. it for that one. That's right. No. Well, what's this? This is the kit you just showed, right? Flash dance. These two with flash dance and and something. Hold on. Hold on, you guys. <laughs> Hold <laughs> on. Uh, one more kit. It's coming. got time. Talk about something. <laughs> Here it is. That's me. Would they go up in order that they go up? That's mine. The first one. There it is. Two flash dance. Okay, that's what I thought. 
Yeah, that's what I, yeah, that's what I knew there was two <clears throat> flash dance. I knew there was two <clears throat> flash dance. So but. flash dance is the border. Scout is the body. So it's like a purple and a pink. And then we have paper and time for the feather and the dots on the pink. I might need your help. Hold on. I'm sorry, Pina. There you go. <laughs> it takes two. To there turn you go. go. Beautiful kit. There you go. Okay. That's the final kit. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. So we did mention the knit along. It's available for sign up. You don't need to purchase a kit. You're welcome to stash dive. You may already have this project in your stash. It does take DK weight yarn. Check your sizing. Make sure you have sufficient yarn. I um, Some people have actually inquired about adding to their stash. We are happy to help you with that. We have um, skeins online. We'd be happy to assist if you needed to try to curate your own kit and you were just missing a skein or two. Right, 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 right. Uh, next up, we have a shawl from Stephen West. This is Shawl Smorgasbord. We featured this on Friday. We don't have all the kits left, but we're going to show you some of what we have. This is a fun seven skein shawl. Perfect for stash diving. You don't need all the yardage per color. The range is 180 yards to 400 yards. And our kits vary in yard yardage size. Hi, Shayla. So I think the one that we have, I think Artville Bell has 387 yards. So most of them are actually close to 400. But in the event, if you know, we highly recommend that you check the labels and place the colors accordingly based on yardage. So go ahead, let's you want go. me to start? Yeah. Okay. This is one kit. This is like pinks and blues and aquas. We've got some speckles thrown in there to add a little dimension. And color interest. You want to do that? No, you do that. You do that. I'm just stop moving them along, Dinah. Sure. Okay. This one is kind of feel like it's like a jungle or like a, you know what this reminds me of? What's that? My penguono. Yeah, it does, right? Tiger's eye. Tiger's eye. Yeah. This looks really good. It's so like that's a, a fun eye. one. Very neutral. You can put that over here, Dan. Okay. I'll take it back. Thank you. Love this one. For some reason, this reminds me of like flowers. I'm not really sure. It's got like pinks and rouge, um, grays and ivories, some speckles. That's a pretty one, right? This one? Yeah. Yeah, I like this one. Very pretty. It's just something very, even like Valentine's Day. It's yeah, soft it's soft pink. It's got yeah. some gray that, you know, the, the, the cream and the gray and the, with the pink is lovely. And the different shades of, you got the rouge in there from Suburban. It's gorgeous. Which is lovely too. Someone is asking, is Pam's green tank DK? No, it is not. It's knit and tick Lena. It's the Chevron tank. Tickling, they Sam say the gone. gauge is, um, what do they say it is? So it's 16. That's 16. Mm -hmm. Heavy worst for Heavy, weight, uh, but knit yeah. to a chunky. Yeah, yeah, yes, for sure. Okay, Definitely. we love this one. I don't know why, but I think of like Santa Fe. Yeah, it does, right. Some Indian jewelry, yeah. I don't know, like American Indian jewelry. I love, love when you have the corals and the rust mixed with the turquoise and the teal. It's so pretty. Beautiful. Right. Let's stick it down there. There you go. Thank you. This one is a fave. I love my blues, purples, and pinks. So this is definitely in my wheelhouse. Mm -hmm. This one's gorgeous. That is a pretty one. I love the Colors flow on lovely. this. One. So it goes navy yeah. to purple to aqua, magenta. Teal. You got a couple of very pink. subtle speckles that have little bits of the teal and pink in it. It's That's perfect. This is gorgeous. Perfect. Now, you know, Stephen Westshaw, the one that he knit is just really a smorgasbord. He used, I guess, a little of what he had left, right? Right. If you see this one, it's really just very colorful. Right. But you can use it. a rainbow. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Hence the next kit. <laughs> there you go. You really can. You know, sometimes you end up dipping into, you know, if I had made this an inch or two longer, I might have needed my third skein leaving me with nearly right, right. A, full skein. a full skein. So right. that would be a perfect opportunity for me to use my You could have made a smorgasbord then. There you go. <laughs> with all my leftovers. Okay. Here's the rainbow. 
love this kit. This one's a happy one. And of course, you can put them in any order that you love. Yeah. Yep. Sure. Trying to check out and now sold out of Pam's kit. Can you duplicate? We have to see. We have to look Peggy. around. We, we... I won't do it now. If I have it, I will contact you directly. Or actually, can you message me on Instagram? So do you I want know me to which... see if there's one over there? That's the only way you'd get this. You need the decadent, right? I know that there's one there. There's one on the table. Oh, we Is might there... be able to. Hold on one second. Diana's going to show you another I'm going to show you another kit, Peggy. But we won't put it on the website. You'll call tomorrow and give us your credit card so you get the kit you want. How's that? Uh, on the bottom shelf? Yes. Such a great color. Isn't it? How gorgeous is this? Purple, lime, pesto, I don't know. It's gorgeous. Blue, aqua, you got it. You got that You're one. You're very welcome, Peggy. Here you go. Is that the last one? One more after. Uh, there's one more after this, okay. I think. I think. Let me get this out of the way. So I would say this reminds me of Miami, but then we threw the pink in there. <laughs> <laughs> I, is it the citrus. gators? Some citrus. Some citrus. There you go. There you go. How's this kit? This is a fun one. For all you Floridians, this is perfect for you. Yes. Show me this. Like sunshine. a flamingo. Yes. Like a flamingo. Love it. Yeah. Nice bundle. Uh, I do want to say that anybody who buys any of these kits, I think it brought you into the free shipping range. Free shipping, right? sure. Yep. So you'll enjoy that. This is a beauty. Very Neutral, right? Elegant and gray you know, is gold. Got colors. Yep, it's still got you know, the pop of colors, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but love it on a quieter tone. Yeah, and that's it for the smorgasbord. That is it. There you go. Thank you, Pam. You're very welcome. Pam's always in the hot seat. There you go. <laughs> okay. Everybody loves your tank, Pam. This Thank is like you. perfect for you because they get to see how it <laughs> can looks stand up, standing up. <laughs> exactly, moving around. So what else, Dana? What else? We have one more One thing. more special thing. You're going to love this, guys. Love, 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 love. So the next thing we're about to share, we have one of every one in stock. However, they're available for reorder. Did you put a pre-order up? No. I put it up for... Pre-order. Um, not pre-order. Like availability. availability. Right, 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 right. right. Uh, the vendor said that they, I can leave it up. For a couple of weeks and anybody who purchases it, purchases it after the first one that sells is pretty much a pre-order and you would get it in the next several weeks when they put them together it's lovely it's worth so, waiting for <laughs> without further ado we have a new delivery who doesn't need a knitting bag right come on you guys have been asking for knitting bags so well, here these, you go these are, yeah, unzip, yeah do an unzip on that one this is our new attendee collection. This is the Bonnie bag in the giraffe theme. It's got Isn't a beautiful pretty? tassel. She does a fabulous job lining the bag. This has two pockets there. You have a zipper, zipper pocket, mm -hmm. and then you have two. Mm -hmm. Whoops, I'm on the wrong side. Insert two pockets. Right. So like throw in your cell phone, scissors, mm -hmm. tape measure, and gadgets. And it's got the little feet on the bottom. The feet on the bottom. Fabulous. Now, I have to tell you, I know Dan and I were discussing this earlier. We have the large, something like this. It's a little larger. It's a little wider, right? Maybe not as tall. The over, No, I think it's as tall, as but tall? it's like a little bit wider. It's called the overnighter. It wears like an iron. I don't know about yours. These bags. I, I I've, mean, over 10 years? And I tr would travel 15? with it. If I was flying somewhere, I would take it as a carry-on. And it was perfect because it would go under the seat in front of me. It holds everything. And it would hold all my knitting. <laughs> so good. So they're it's on Fabulous. The fabulous. And they wear like iron, I have to say. So da what is this one called? These Spot are called on the night. These are the um, Bonnie? Bonnie bags. Bonnie. 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 So Bonnie it's a bags. smaller version of the Attenti. Look at that, guys. Is you that could fit great? your projects in there, project bags. It's a smaller oh, yeah. overnighter. Yeah. Um, it's roomy enough. Yeah. And this, I'm not going to open it. It has the same inside same as the one inserts. I just showed you. There you How go. How elegant. Beautiful. Okay, you guys, this is another new fabric. 
I'm in love with her new fabric. Oh, this one's gorgeous. <laughs> Look at this. This is, and meanwhile, this is like got a beautiful velvet. Look at these zebra. You can see so the velvet right here. Yeah. Gorgeous. Oh, it's beautiful. So this is the zebra it's bag. It's got this hound's tooth um, edging up here. Her attention to detail is really Lovely. phenomenal. Yeah. Yep, it's really well worth. I mean, you, you know, they're not inexpensive, but when you consider how long I've had they them. wear. It's like, I mean, I've never had an How issue long have with we a had handle it? or anything tearing or ripping. It's like unbelievable. I may have to get one day. But honestly speaking, when did we first bring Oh here? my gosh. Oh my was goodness. 10 years ago. More. Michelle was here. Well, I, I, then now you're going into territory. I can't figure that out. It's been like <laughs> at least 15 years. Crazy. 15 years? No, 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 no. I've been here 17 years. No, not quite that long. You don't think it's been... I don't know. At least 15 years that we've had are our attend Are there other attendees on the website? Are the other ones on the website? I I don't know. Well, we do have other ones. You know what we'll do? We'll, we'll put check. them on the website, yeah. too, because you have other ones, too. This okay. is lovely. This is a new design. Uh, not a new design. This is now a different bag. This is a, di called, a different style. Yeah. The Hope, the Hope Basket, I think she calls it. Hope Basket? Yes. So you have it as a bag. And this is a fabric. A this strap. one is like a fabric. Well, it's again, the giraffe too. theme with the same. I fell in love with the tassels. Oh, this I is know. the only bag with the tassel. I love the tassels. But Does she sell the tassels bag, separately? Yes. Oh, you why don't you buy them. some? This bag can actually sit on the table. It's like a bucket. It's got a square bottom. Yeah. And it becomes a cute table bag. Isn't that cute? And you could put your wonderful... Seven skein shawl <laughs> and Stephen West. You could. And he'll have it so beautifully. You, you could check this out. Yeah. And there's so much room. Yeah. You can have your knitting needles, your little notions case. Yeah. With the perfect scissor. Look at that. Now, also, this does have, I'm just looking to see, it has. Same zippers, same well, pockets. It does have. Um, no. No, this one's a little different. She gives you a pocket. Let me just take this out so I can show them. She's got, I don't know if there's a zipper in it. Oh, She's no, got right. a section that has um, the pockets, oh. but it's, it's divided into it's three. different. Four. four. Into four. One, two, three. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. Five. Five. Is there another one? Over? Crochet hooks, scissors. Yes. Tape measures. Forget about it. Markers. Show okay. That, show them this that This is a time. different style. So can you yeah. see them? There are five different There are five pockets. different insert pockets. The middle one is a little wider. She had the zipper on this one. Love this I don't bag. Know, I guess not. So super cute. You see how the insert, the inside, the um. So if you get somewhere and you want it to sit nicely, you can use it like a like a knitting a yarn bowl. Right. You turn down <laughs> the top, and you get a beautiful trim. How pretty! So is that's that? the zebra. This one is a lovely one. This is like a linen print. It's very uh, pretty. This one is called. This feels padded. I want to say Viola. That's pretty. But if I get the names wrong, you, you can, can see them identify on the them by the beautiful pictures. You can on the see website. them on the website. Yep, absolutely. They're beautiful. Oh my God. What is Shayla saying? Sorry, Shayla. You guys are killing me. I'm a bag maker who appreciates an amazing bag. They're very well done, right, mm, Shayla? They are. As are yours. Oh. This one I think is called Ginkgo. This oh. is super elegant. Look at How that. chic is this? Look at that, guys. The fabric on, what is this? Like a brocade? What is that fabric? I, I don't called? know. And you know, the you fabrics the, the fabrics are dimensional. Like you can feel them. There's texture in it. Stunning. That's a gorgeous thing. The band. color is getting blown out. But when I pull it back here, look at how rich you see the teal. Look on the website. The pictures are very good on the website. Very, very good color. Super nice. And the inside of that has a black... Um, Oh, it's gorgeous. So if you're the first to snag the bag, you will get the first shipment. Otherwise, um, we will probably call you and let you know if you have to wait for it. This is stunning. I think this one it's is also called linen. Posey. No, Seymour. I think this is the Seymour. I love so, that lining on the inside, Dinah. Fold that down. Show them that Look great lining. Look at the lining. flower on this side. And then this one is actually different. Look oh! at the flower there. It's gorgeous. <laughs> That's oh. great. And this love. Has got a lime top. Stunning. It's brighter than what's coming up on the screen. Love Super one. cute. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And gorgeous. Spot on the night. They have one the of those. Black. Yeah. You've seen this one. Right. Super cute. Again, the foldable. 
border. This one is called Flora. Look at the beautiful. And that has a navy base in the background, navy yes. background. And I want to say it's embroidered. Right. And as you can see, you can see the the stitching. The stitching. It's not just a print on the um, can on you imagine fabric. The sewing machine that did all this embroidery work. Oh my goodness. Rita would appreciate love, this. Love those colors. It's gorgeous. And when you fold it over, oh, the that's line beautiful. On top. <laughs> Stunning. Gorgeous. <laughs> there you go. Okay. This one is a must. Oh. <laughs> this is called La Tigra. Look at, Look at that. that stunning tiger. Look at that. You ready? Check out the hiney on the back. <laughs> that's gorgeous. <laughs> love. And this has an aqua insert. Oh, that's lovely. Look how Super that, cute. Oh, that's gorgeous. This is La Tigra. Love it. Gorgeous, right? Fabulous. Mm -hmm. This is another um, oh, this is like beautiful. velvet or chenille. Mm -hmm. Like an antique floral, very yeah. vintage looking. And it is Super a velvet. Cute. Yeah, beautiful. And I believe this one, I don't recall the name. It's okay. It might be Desiree, but I'm not sure. Could be. But it's gorgeous. That is beautiful. And what's that fold down to? It folds down to this stunning oh, maroon. That is a which gorgeous is just so color. It's elegant. like a beet red. It's beautiful. <gasps> really nice. I would be hard pressed to pick one. I know, right? I, I couldn't decide. Okay, what you, I've had one for 16 years. Looks See? brand new. Thank yes. you, Christine. Yes, Thank yes. Thank you, Chris. Absolutely. Yes. It does look like an it is an upholstery fabric. And I think mm -hmm. they, um, I don't know where they get them from, but they're always oh, we have another searching one. for new ones. Mm. This is the last and final bag that we have. This one is called the Posy. Super mm. cute. Also stitched. Love this one. It's got a navy background. Oh, and I don't know if you can it. see the stitching, but it's three-dimensional. Fold that Stunning. one down, Dana. And the top on this. Mm -hmm. You ready? Gold. The gold. Gorgeous. Stunning. Gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Gorgeous. And, you know, you have a little leeway. The border, she's a quite generous on yeah, the fabric. Right. Yeah, right. So you can really... Folds it down a little bit further, and Absolutely. then your pockets inside are actually more accessible. Yeah, right in there. Beautiful. It's got a nice square bottom, like we said, so it lays perfectly on the table. There you go. That's it. Lovely. That's what we have for you today. That I think that's enough. A lot. It's enough for today. Enough for Monday, right, guys? Yes. Okay. Especially when we're late. Yeah. But we appreciate all of you joining us. We hope that. You join us for the knit along. We are super excited to host that. Right. You still have plenty of time. Absolutely. There's a lot of knit alongs coming up. So we understand that if you can't, uh, we know that Hohi, I think on the 15th of August, she's taking sign ups. So stay tuned she for that. She starts here yeah, the 15th of August. I know that she doesn't want you casting on until September 1st. Mm -hmm. And what else can we share? I don't know. I think that's it. Is I there anything else? It. I don't think there's anything else going on enough for today do we need any comments or any questions for you guys we love it when we you guys is Dinah gonna make a soldatna there you go leave a comment <laughs> and do you want me to make a soldatna do you want her to make a soldatna well she is has it necessary one, that both of us knit the same like no, knit it for the no, knit along no 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 i feel no, no. guilty when i'm not knitting it i think that's basically what it is Diane is saying she has several styles and fabrics, and I always want more. They're great. They are stunning bags. They certainly are. Uh, Joyce is sharing that Casa Pinka has one on August 12th. We haven't even promoted that one. Oof. We should look at that. There's so many. There's so many great projects out there. And, you know, yeah, pick we're the constantly. That, pick the one, pick, choose the one that speaks to you. That might be Absolutely. something you've had in your queue to make for a while and just haven't done it because the community of making it together with a group of people, you know, and perhaps, you know, getting some help with it um, or some, um, you might. On all platforms. A tip or trick or something right. that you didn't know about um, would be good camaraderie the name of the game absolutely absolutely and of course you know what's coming out this week andrew marries so there was a postponement um, a lot of you have been asking about the rhinebeck sweater from andrea i think she's releasing it on thursday uh due to personal issues i i think it was with spin cycle i'm not sure i don't know her. you had I'm, mentioned it I don't i'm know. not sure 
I think I lost Here the it thread is. on Andre that. Here it is, Andre Mars sweater. Yes, it doesn't release tomorrow. I think they're postponing it until Thursday. Uh, I will have sport weight kits available. I have a delivery coming in hopefully tomorrow from Moondrake. And we have some spin cycle and we have mohair. So we're looking forward when that pattern drops, we will definitely post kits for that. And there's too much going on, guys. There's a lot. I think there's I need another lot. pair of hands. I'm definitely going to need it. I need an attentive bag to put all my projects in. <laughs> right. Absolutely. Just too many projects. Absolutely. So don't be disappointed if you don't snag the first one. There are more coming. Just place an order. And uh, the quicker you guys place the orders in, the quicker I will send them over. And oh, they will to is there a deadline that they have to order it by? I think I have it open for a month. Oof. But it doesn't mean that you have to wait a month out. If there's a certain number that we hit, she'll start making them right away. Right, right, right. So that is what we have for you. Oh, my goodness. Can't wait to hear what you guys have to say. Diana's already saying, absolutely, Diana needs to make another. <laughs> I'm on the fence. I want to, if, if I get more progress done. She'll on know when she sees Andrea Mowry's Rhinebeck sweater. That's another thing. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> How many Rhinebeck sweaters are you guys knitting? I feel like I want everything. I've cast on Envy. It's too much. I got to slow down. Yeah, exactly. All right, you all. Have a wonderful evening. Thank we, you so much for joining us. Exactly. We'll see you next Monday. And we'll try to be earlier next yes, Monday. Yes, for sure. Sorry we were so late. Yes. Have a great week. Take care, everyone. Good night. Bye.